Hey everyone, it's time. I got a new update on what I've been up to lately. The latest project. It's not a truck or a construction machine, but it's definitely part of a construction process. Uh, the conveyor build has come a long way now. Things are looking good. Uh, just tested out the motor and speed and tracking. And this thing is sweet, so I figured I'd post a video. This is uh, about six feet long, just under six feet, using a tire tube from a transport truck to cut the belt out of continuous loop. And it's going to be used to capture the clean material from a screen and then run up the belt, and the truck will be able to drive under it or with my dump trailer and uh, take the clean material away to the next job. Um, a few of the details, just some simple, I guess you call them turnbuckles, and threaded rod for belt tension. Each of the rollers, you may notice, there is a dish to the belt. It's because I'm using the old going hippie style on this with uh, wooden rollers and the final ones to give it a good curve are actually anti-skid pads for furniture. And then uh, the drive system is miter gears with a gear reduction. I think it's about a 30 RPM motor. I can't remember. Uh, put in a couple, here's some more of the bead work. I might place one more as a support, just for the slack in the bottom. And thinking about a brush at the back side of the roller, or near the back roller, to keep the dirt away. But anyways, enough talking. Here it is in action. The tracking is pretty good. At first I had this back roller full floating, thinking that that would be the best way, is just let it run its natural course. Not the best I situation. I discovered it's better off to have it more fixed, keep the belt straight. So I'm cheating using uh, some tie straps for now, just to keep the roller in place until I get some proper shims for it. But it's staying straight. All I did with the rollers was use the screws. There's actually lateral movement back and forth. A little bit of a hot glue gun squirt to keep the nuts on the shaft so they don't come unthreaded. And it sounds like something's not running quite straight the way the motor's lugging and unlugging. Well, it's not really lugging, but RPM's changing. I'll have to investigate. It's probably my makeshift bracket. is isn't quite true. So, I don't know, guys. I think this thing is ready to move some dirt. Well, so far still tracking not too bad. Thanks for watching my slow, boring video but uh, I'm pretty happy with this liking it so far thanks for watching